The images are everywhere, so it's natural that our kids hear more than we think they do about coronavirus. I heard it in Wuhan, China, and I heard it spreading more. Dr. Abigail Schlesinger is head of the Behavioral Sciences Division at Children's Hospital in Pittsburgh. She says, before talking about coronavirus with your kids, take a minute to be calm and make sure you have correct facts. Although it's important to show kids that that uh, you have emotions, right? That, you're, that you might be anxious about something. What you don't want to do is inadvertently dump your emotions on them. Schlesinger says, start by asking kids if they have any questions. Be honest, but keep it simple. For example, if young children ask why they can't play with their friends, tell them, we're taking a break from playing with others so everyone can stay healthy. If they ask why someone is wearing a mask, say, sometimes people cover their faces when they don't feel well. And if an adult needs to be separated from them, try to avoid words like sickness and quarantine. Say, mommy needs to be away for a little while, but she'll be back soon. Dr. Schlesinger says even in this time of change, it's important that some routines are maintained. So basic routines about when kids eat dinner, when kids go to bed, uh, those can be retained even in times of quarantine or of social distancing. Finally, empower kids by focusing on the things they can control, like hygiene and hand washing. Every time I talk to my kids to wash their hands and using the sanitizer. I'm Jessica Sanchez reporting.